G'day gorgeous gardening guardians of the earth. Today we're making activated biochar, which is essentially just charcoal made from burnt wood soaked in liquid fertilizer, organic fertilizer always of course, and I'm crushing it down to create more of a surface area, making it easier for the liquid fertilizer to soak into the charcoal. And as many of you already know, charcoal is actually a filter which draws in impurities, or in this case, fertilizer. And I'll use this sieve to filter out and sieve out the smaller particles for this biochar brew I'm making, activated biochar brew. And the reasons why I'm making activated biochar for my garden to mix in through the soil is charcoal is a great medium to boost soil structure. But like I said, charcoal is a filter. So we want to fill that filter up before we put it in our garden because charcoal is a phenomenal filter. So when our soil is wet and all that nutrients is moving around with unactivated charcoal in the soil, it will suck nutrients for years and years from our soil to fill itself up before it will start giving back. So we're going to fill it up ourselves. And this is some organic seaweed, liquefied seaweed fertilizer. And I'm going to pour this powdered charcoal right in this bottle and leave it for at least two weeks so the charcoal can soak in all that fertilizer. So now that the charcoal is drawing in all that organic liquid fertilizer, it is in the process of activating. And once it is fully charged with that beautiful organic liquid fertilizer, it becomes activated charcoal. And more benefits of your charcoal being activated, once you run this through your soil, the roots of the plants can tap in. I'm making another batch here. Um, the roots of the plants can tap into those charcoal particles and draw the nutrients from the charcoal and the charcoal in turn can draw a little bit of nutrients back out of the soil, constantly recharging and regenerating itself, making a never ending fertilizer source, if you will. I'm going to soak this batch or charge this batch with my leftover coffee grinds mixed with water because coffee grinds are full of nitrogen so the charcoal can activate from that nitrogen rich coffee grain grind <laughs> water. So yeah, you can use any type of liquid fertilizer you like. And if the water turns completely clear, that means the charcoal has soaked it all in and you can add more fertilizer. You really want the charcoal to be full. Having activated biochar through the soil of your garden makes a great home for microbial colonies and fungi to set roots in, if you will, and branch out and spread through the soil. The porous texture of charcoal is great for microbes and fungi to latch onto. And because it's full of organic fertilizer, they can feed while they expand out, creating more and more soil through the earth of your garden. The activated charcoal not only holds and stores fertilizer, but for its size, for its mass, can also hold on to a substantial amount of water. It took half an hour to make this activated biochar, another two weeks for all the fertilizer to soak into the charcoal. But yeah, half an hour's work for perpetual benefits for my garden. I think that's 
really worth it. A really simple and easy way to improve your soil.